This huge, beautiful oak tree was the reason why the main building looks as it does. They built the whole footprint of the house so that it wouldn't disturb this oak tree. I've spent the whole day looking at big trees that are all really tall, but not every big tree is tall. Some of them are really wide, like this one. And we can peel back some of the leaves, and this is the part we'll take. Today, we're going to explore the time-honored art of preserving what we grow. And so you can see the beautiful, beautiful layer. So is there a, a reason, I mean, does the physical compression change things or are you just trying to make sure everything stays together and that you can fit as much in as possible? No, you want to, you want to add a little bit of pressure so then it starts to ferment. I'm going to watch till the cucumbers start to turn a little bit olive green and then I'm going to taste them and when they're turned as much as I want, then they go in the fridge and they last for a couple of months. It's that easy. Just like there's no single type of gardener, there's no single type of garden. That's what makes garden tours and garden shows so interesting. I love the way this pathway just pulls me up literally into the garden space. I get to the center and there's this medallion of old wine bottles. They're different colors and they're mixed with colorful glass. So they just shine. we go to the nursery, we bring home plants like this. Have you ever stopped to wonder, how did that plant get there? So look at this one, Nan. What, this is a Dianella, right? Yeah, Dianella Destiny. It, that's a new one to me. I love the variegation. Look Isn't it so beautiful? Yep. So what kinds of things are you breeding for? I breed for color, leaf quality, leaf color, I think we have to get a little bit smarter about our water infrastructure and how we're going to meet the needs of Southern California. Speaking for the lower desert valley, about 80% of all the fresh produce during the winter months is produced for the nation. And each one of those valleys is irrigated with Colorado River water. Consider this. 75% of the demand for water comes from south of Sacramento, but 75% of the supply comes from the north. This dome botanical building anchored the exposition gardens. Because of the lush landscape, the exposition was nicknamed the Garden Fair. Yes, this beautiful Indian laurel fig tree is the last vestige of the first garden that was here that was called Montezuma Gardens. What will they be in another hundred years? Wouldn't it be fun to know? I'm Nan Sturman. Thanks for watching.